Welcome back to Movie Reviews by Movie Lovers. And, of course, we have already decided to say that it is December. So we are doing the first day of our 25 Days of Christmas Movie Reviews, which is The Grinch. And this is the 2018 version. Um, we can go ahead and start with ratings. Uh, I am a 5 which is, I love it, and I will watch it constantly, whether it's Christmas or not. And it's a uh, four for me. I like it. It's a Christmas movie. I'll watch it during Christmas time. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then I guess we can just discuss about the movies. Uh, we did last year, we did the uh, older version of Dr. Seuss's uh, The Grinch, or How the Grinch Stole Christmas uh, is the title. And we said that it was from infancy to, you know, school age. So this is the next step up, which is from school age to preteen. Sorry for the noise in the background. It's our dog. <laughs> um, he's in agreement. He's tearing up our carpet. <laughs> um, but that's our view on this one. And then we'll give our view about the next one when we do that review. Uh, what... Uh, do you want to do any favorite scenes or anything like that? One of my favorite scenes is, of course, him finding the reindeer. Fred, I think. I just like the goat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Will like, you stop it? <laughs> I like the day after they find Fred that he's trying to make coffee. And Max is looking at him like, what the heck? <laughs> um, we love Max, of course. Oh, and the car caroling scene. Oh, yes, because you can tell in this um, that the um, Pentatonix did it. Um, I think they get credit for it, too. But, yeah, no, their caroling scene is fun. I love the other part is when um, uh, the little Who girl, which I can't remember her name at the mo moment, uh, tries to capture Santa, and she's using one of her friends, and he's... He's there, and he's like, oh, I see the string on the, the cookie. And, and she's like, just grab the cookie. He grabs it, and immediately the outfit comes off of him. <laughs> and he's stark naked in there holding the cookie going, can I have the cookie now? <laughs> and you're just like, what the heck? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a kid's movie and an adult movie at the same time. Because some of the humor you got to get to as an adult, and some of the humor you're getting, majority of the humor you'll get as a kid. Hmm? Yeah, and then the point... When he's, like, wanting food, Max is, like, going, here, have a bean. And he's yeah. like, what is this measly bean? I mean, where is my back stock of food? And he goes, it must have been all that emotional eating I did. And all you see is scenes of him emotionally eating. Gigantic cake, he's eating the whole thing. Spaghetti, he's eating the whole thing. Two forks. Two forks. I, I don't remember what all the other stuff was. Um, but it, it kind of, after, after that scene, all of a sudden Max goes, uh-huh, <laughs> but in a dog voice and, and, uh, and then he's like, oh, great. Now I have to go down to who, and then uh, I don't want to be down there. And he's trying to say Christmas and he can't, he goes, Crap! <laughs> you know, and, uh, and he's like, I have to go down there and uh, so much fun. On the radio is my favorite part too. <laughs> it starts out with the radio too. Cause it's and and he tosses it down and it still is playing. It's playing uh, Twelve Days of Christmas, and and then uh, later on you'll see a scene and he it, it starts up again and he throws his his dresser on top of it to get it to. It's already broken and it plays again and he drops the dresser. I think that's the end of hearing the radio. Yeah. Oh, I love the part where he's playing piano, and he's got Max with him, and Max is trying to participate with the drums, and he's like, get out of here! <laughs> oh, and then, um, so he's trying to gather the sleigh that he needs from one of the... Neighbors. Neighbors. And so, there's a scene where he's, like, trying to escape from the dog, and he accidentally rings the doorbell, but the dog is right there at the door, and the guy opens the door and goes... Who taught the dog to ring the doorbell? She can ring the doorbell! Oh, and then another one is, um, the dog goes through the window, gets gets a drink and a cake, and ends up at the end of the table, and it's the owner again. And he goes, oh my god, my dog knows how to give me stuff! It's like, woohoo! And then, um, 
And then at the end, they finally get the sleigh off his roof. That's what they were going for. And it falls down. And it's going off. And it's decorated. And it's got fake reindeer and the real reindeer. And Max and, and the Grinch inside the, the sleigh. And the guy is drinking something. And he's like, oh, I wonder what's in... Or no, no, it's the cake. He's eating the cake. He's like, I wonder what's in this cake. I think I see so just saw Santa. I want another piece of cake. <laughs> and everybody's kind of looking at him like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, and then the next day, he has Max going out and surveying something. And he's flying around. And he comes across the neighbor talking to someone else going, Yeah, when I woke up, my sleigh was gone. And a bunch of stuff was had happened. And, and the Grinch on the other end can't. They don't hear him, and he's just like, "Who? I wonder who that could have been." <laughs> it's a pretty funny movie. If yeah. you haven't seen it, go see it. And um, if you haven't seen it, sorry for the spoilers. Yeah, we didn't even say spoilers. Whoops. <laughs> but hey, if you haven't seen it, I mean, have you ever really watched a Christmas movie? Because it's the same premise for all the other Grinches, just slightly different. That's true. So. Anything else? What makes it nostalgic? I think it's because it's a Grinch movie. Because it's not... It may not have been the older version. Uh, it may have not been the Jim Carrey version. But it's still a version of the Grinch. That brings up the nostalgia of it. Because sure. it's, it's not that old. I mean, it's 2018. That's not that far away. No, that's not that long ago. So you can't really be nostalgic about this one. But it brings out the nostalgia of the ones from the past. Huh? Yeah. I think that's the way it is. Anything else? I don't think so. Alright, well that was day one of our Christmas stuff. Uh, stay tuned for the next 25 days. We'll have more. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.